They're about to start level seven. I don't need it though. But I can help because, well, otherwise it'll be really hard for them. I'd feel bad about just leaving. <laughs> Fucking good luck. I don't know what week, uh, what, what boss this is gonna be this week. Okay, all right. I don't think this one's that bad. It's just potentially incredibly deadly. There. You now have heals forever. Supreme damage! Oh, what's that? My Well of Radiance is running out! Just kidding, Phoenix Protocol! Generate me more energy! For infinite radiance! Go ahead! Try and melt through my divine light! But it is never ending! Okay, a slight amendment to that statement. It can't potentially end if there aren't enough enemies for me to kill. Who did it? I don't have a key for this. Damn it. Alright. I'm heading back to the tower. I got what I needed. Is dim up so I can get my shit? I think... I think no. No! It's alive! It's alive! Dim is in fact... Alive, but there are a lot... Wait, that's not the right thing. <laughs> it was showing me my PS4 items, which isn't right. Oh shit, they changed the look of this a little bit. Oh yeah, they changed the look of this a good bit. Oh boy. Alright, what did I want? I kind of wanted my... My main go-to heavy weapons back. So that means my sleeper stimulant. And my wisp of the worm. Just in case I need them. I'll grab my Ikelo sniper as well. I should probably grab a bow as well, just because we have a challenge for bows. I could equip my wish ender, but I'm I, I like having really good heavy weapons. I'm no longer the Gom from, from uh, Week 1, Destiny 1, where I saw Galahorn and said, I will never use a heavy weapon exotic. Had the resources for it. Alright, give me some good. What cipher is this? That was something bad, alright. City 
at the very least, we have more ways to get enhancement course slash masterwork course than we did, you know, in the month that I played Forsaken. But I'm still not going to be trying to, like, spam infusion unless I really, really have to. Oh my god. Why can't there be, like, an elevator to her or something? Dare I go against our values? and ask a guardian to craft a new black armory weapon. If I do, our operations could finally restart. But more of their kind would come. <laughs> Though our wares, of course. We'll need more supplies to meet demand, which means even more guardians, which means further disgracing the memory of our founder. You've put me in quite the predicament. Well. Sounds like you need a little bit of change in your life. Think you're gonna have to accept that. Black Armory Machine Gun Frame. Ada One is surprised by what you have accomplished with the weapon frame. She now sees a potential within you that she knows would be foolish not to develop. The calibrated weapon frame is not er, is just one step towards helping the Black Armory. Another is finding the Lost Forge, which Ada One believes to be hidden deep within the Cabal base in the EDZ. Travel to the EDZ and locate the missing Volunteer Forge to craft the Black Armory weapon. You've got it. Ooh, and it even gives us powerful gear. Good stuff. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need it desperately. There's a landing point right next to Ada. Is there? Oh. All right. That's new. Didn't see that. What the hell is that sound? I keep hearing like a chirp sound, but I have no idea what it is from. That! That fucking sound right there! What is that? It's gonna drive me nuts. Oh my lord. Okay. Okay. Whatever. That's us in clan chat? Ugh. Are you kidding me? If I don't have the chat on the screen, why does it keep on doing sounds? <laughs> Smitter's Cavern. Uh... This is the forge area? Oh, wow. You see, this could have been a lot of sector for all I knew. <laughs> they, they've repurposed, but I, it, I'm gonna... I'm gonna assume this is completely, completely new. I'll give him the benefit of that doubt. Okay. Well, this is cool. Craft a Black Armory machine gun by creating a Volunteer Forge ignition in EDZ. 610 recommended power. I can handle that. Uh-oh. It's actually matchmaking us. <laughs> that has me concerned. You see, we were already told that the forge is 530. I'm assuming that this is just for the mission at 510. But still, the fact that we have 
to have three people could mean problems. Oh hell yeah, we got we got three warlocks. I hope they're ready for never-ending radiance. Oh my god, he hit me with that shot too. Oh, I don't like that. Holy shit! I got sent flying, man. Oh, that's interesting. He respawned pretty quickly, honestly. Oh wait, what am I doing? I've got a... <laughs> I've got a machine gun. Give me the battery, what the fuck? Thank you. Throw the bat radio battery at the forge to charge it! Oh no. Yeah, I gotta leave. I, I I gotta get out of this spot. Yeah, you see what's happening to my teammate over there? That's that was what was gonna happen to me. Oh you're new. Nope, not even turning around. Not about that life. You know, at least I got guys who are like really fast in the on the upkeep with this. Oh wow. Does he have Phoenix Protocol on? He doesn't. Oh, but we finished the objective. So what is this gonna you. Okay. Is that it? Oh. Your time ran out. Oh. I didn't know there was limited time on that. Okay, all right. It was definitely confusing as to why I got like nothing of actual value from the forge. It's because we didn't actually complete it. That's so weird. Why is it a fucking time thing? All right, we got new people this time. Right. <laughs> I tried to put down a radiance well, and uh, I forgot that we're on a new, new thing. Don't have it. Boom. Okay, that does not have the magnetic properties of other, other charge balls. Oh, 
Oh boy. Oh, I didn't get my heal off. I need to leave this guy back to my teammates. They'll know what to do with him. Get like that. <laughs> What the fuck? What do you mean it didn't charge it? Oh, I'm dead. Me, dude. Okay. So the good news is this isn't that bad. Now now that I actually know there's a time limit, that means I actually will work towards trying to kill things faster, not so much hiding for my own safety. Okay. So we just need one more, which we've got here. He missed! <laughs> okay, so we're not done yet, though. There's still two more waves. And unfortunately... I'm not gonna have my Well of Radiance back immediately. Eh? <laughs> he invited me to his fire team. Killing supers. Don't worry, I'll sit. <laughs> Never mind. It didn't work out. Yeah, I'm not worried about him. We need. We need batteries. Big fucking yikes. Okay. There ain't no more time for playing around. We need the big guns. Oh, batteries. Fuck me, dude, this sucks. They're 625? Dude, that, like, did nothing for time. Big fucking yikes. Okay. Cancel it. I don't wanna I don't wanna do any more right now. Okay. I I'm gonna I'm gonna level up. I'm gonna do challenges and milestones because that is uh it's unreasonable. It is an unreasonable set of challenges, and that's stupid. That's really, really stupid. Again, and that's for, that's for, like, that's the first one? Your first, like, foray into the forge, and it's, and it's just this stupid. I just completely unforgiving thing just goddamn 
if we were of level, it probably wouldn't be that bad. I think, and that that's my problem. Everything with Bungie's destiny is always totally manageable and all right when you're of level, when you're equal level with it. You can still get a little bit of challenge. That's probably what they designed it for. But the problem is, if you have, if you have something that's challenging to people when they're of level, then it's just fucking annoying as hell when you're under leveled. Except the problem is, that's the, that's the, that's the new stuff. And I accepted that would probably happen a little bit with the Forge stuff, because it's endgame content. But the problem is, within like an hour of us playing, we reached it, and I, I, I didn't even get a level boost. This doesn't get me even a 601. And this was a prime engram drop, so... What? They want me to beat at 600? Enemies who can literally one-shot me? In a- like, if this wasn't timed, then at least we could, like, play cautiously, play tactically, and everything would be alright there. But no, it's timed. You have to do it all within a minute. And you can change the time if you- if you kill the enemies, but they're also getting your ass kicked constantly, so it's... Stupid. And we're gonna go through things, but just... It's just so stupid that they just didn't let us level up a little bit first before going, okay, now you have access to the forge. Because now I have to go, okay, I guess I'll just throw myself at milestones. You know, hey, welcome to season five. Go play the last couple of years of shit. You know, I was hoping maybe, maybe have a little bit of time before, before that happened. 